Hello everyone. You would laugh when you know what I want to make a video about um, because I still have a handbag collection of near 20 bags. That is a lot, probably by anyone's standards, but by my standards <laughs> and concerning handbags, trust me, it's an improvement. Prof, P-R-O-F, 24X, forever ago requested that I discuss how I downsized, how I made those decisions on which bags to sell and why I sold them, the process that I went through. And I wanted to discuss some of that with you today because, I don't know, it's, it's a simple thing. It's definitely a, a first world problem to have, to have so much to begin with, just to be thankful for the opportunity to have so much. And of something that's really not needed, but something that just brings you pleasure, or joy, or whatever. Um, but I'm amazed at how I've done learned life lessons through my handbags. And I will say that the first time I decided to downsize was when I just my feeling of being overwhelmed, like seeing all these things around me to do, but not really knowing where to start or how to start. And my dear friend Jackie took on a huge blessing for me. She's great at selling. And she uh, allowed me to literally mail her bags. And she sold them for me. And I had a Louis Vuitton makeup bag that she was interested in. And so that was kind of her pay for that hard work. I got the better end for sure. And it got the ball rolling, like seeing fewer bags, I could just deal with them better. And I really don't know how many bags I had at that time, but I probably didn't want to know because that's just too much reality for me. I don't know. But she had me sell about 10 bags, something like that. I don't know, maybe more. And I just really appreciate her because after that happened, I was able to attack other things in my home to, to get rid of. Now, it sounds like I'm this hoarder, and I'm really not like that with anything else. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's always perspective. Some people think, oh, you have so many shoes or whatever, but um, I don't feel this like desire to buy repeatedly um, when it comes to jewelry, bags, coats, clothing, anything of that nature. I can still get too much of something, but with a handbag, I'm like always on the lookout and I'm always noticing bags and I'm always intrigued by bags, things like that. So it's fun. It's a pleasurable thing and it will, I've decided to embrace it. It's just part of my life and I'm fortunate to get to do that because my friend Jack actually got to meet her by selling a bag so as I it looks like it's such a problem to want to downsize it also had positive things because I have met wonderful people and a lot of it's also here on YouTube because uh, if you come to this video thinking okay where do you sell <laughs> You guys from YouTube have been the ones that have, have bought things from me and I appreciate it. I, I don't like selling. I get stressed out like if it's going to be what you like and I don't know. I just don't relax with it. So that's also helping me not buy so much um, from what I used to would have done. So I don't know. I don't know if psychologically I was dealing with things to have so many. I don't know. I just feel better having so-called fewer bags. I just feel better. Okay, so the first thing was um, realized that I just was ready to get rid of some. Being overwhelmed and I had a friend who helped me get the ball rolling and I really, really appreciate her for that. Um, then I had to change my focus. I used to focus on which bag I loved. Um, it's hard for me to find a bag I don't love. So I had to focus on which ones I used the most and just really be mindful of that. Kind of making a list. What bags not only do I use but when do you really use bags and I have a certain pattern as we all do throughout our day I don't go to many dress-up occasions um, and the ones where I live I mean they're pretty casual still so they were mainly for work for travel going to the grocery store so for errands and casual outings probably those four were the main things so I try to focus on which ones do I gravitate to really did that and then um, the other thing was to kind of get a, a handle on buying the next bag to not repeat the same mistake and I'm always telling that to my kids it's not making the mistake that's a problem because we actually learn through mistakes it's what are you going to do differently now and so what I do differently is 
first, never say I can't have something because there's something in my psyche. If somebody goes, you can't have it, I'm going to work so hard to prove you wrong that I can indeed have it. <laughs> so um, I didn't want to do that kind of mind game. That just doesn't work for me. I have to say, you can have anything you want. But we're going to do these steps first. First, I go and look to see uh, how much money's in the bank. Now, <laughs> there are priorities way more important than a handbag, and none of us are here to argue that. So what I've done is, um, through selling some bags, got started on a whole new account that's just for handbags. And so I can buy anything I want. It needs to be within that money. I mean, it can't go below or whatever. If I spend it all, that's all I have. I can't, I'm not using my savings account. I'm not using my checking. And it just helped me knowing that oh, I could have things, but this is where it's going to come from. And if I want more, then I need to sell more or work more or do something like that to replenish that account. So that uh, did help me to see, like, this is what I have to deal with just for handbags. Okay. And then I um, took a couple of notes here. So I'm looking down sometimes. Um, I would look at that bank account to see how much was in there. And then I would reason out how many hours I would need to work to have earned, to earn that bag. So it's not just having the money. It's like, okay, 100 hours. I mean, is it worth 100 hours of work? Is it worth 40 hours of work? Um, and I know that's kind of an odd way to do it, but it just it helped me a lot to go by that formula. <laughs> it's very simplistic and it's really helpful. Is this a 10 hour bag? Am I, is it gonna be worth that? <laughs> um, another thing I would ask myself is, can I name at least three things right now that I would use that bag for? And if I couldn't, I would have to wait. Um, and so it, it came to be, um, my, my rule of thumb, like are there three places? And then I would have to sit on it for a few months knowing that I could have it, but I wanted to wait. Sometimes I'd get a price, like a sell price in my mind. If it would come along or if it'd be made from France, I would get it, something of that nature. And just wait, and that's really hard for me, but when I still have the mentality like you can have it, it just became more fun and I became more patient with the whole process because at the same time I thought once I have it, it's usually a big ticketed item and I'm going to have to deal with it. There's got to be a spot in my closet for it. There's got to be um, a, another thing to deal with later down the road if I don't want it anymore. And you know, it's perfectly fine to change your mind and to sell. It's just I don't enjoy selling so I just want to be very careful. Now, advantage I have is that my schedule is pretty much the same. Um, I'm older compared to many people that make YouTube. Um, and so at 50, I can look at probably where I'm going to retire from and what kind of lifestyle I'm going to pursue. So it's, it's easier for me than probably a lot of people. So I look at it, okay, for work, this bag, things like that. Okay, another item, another area that's very important is how does it feel when I carry it? And do I make the decision? I mean, I love to get other people's input. Thus, I go to YouTube and if we have conversations, I love that because I always learn from you. In fact, the Henry Bendel Jet Setter Bag, I learned that from you. Um, there are certain things that people have told me through comments that I just have gotten just a broader understanding and realized I liked it. But a lot of times, I mean, I'll have a formula that I kind of want to follow also in a bag, like how much does it weigh? What is the handle going to be like? that kind of thing, it's a tote versus a hobo. Um, but sometimes I'll have a bag that meets the criteria perfectly in my mind, but I just don't love it. And then sometimes it doesn't quite meet that criteria, but I still love it. And I would have to say that the Neverfull is an example. I love totes in general. Um, and at first I thought, I, I think I can get rid of all Neverfulls and not have that anymore, uh, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And I know it's, so many people think it's overly used. You see so many people with it, but I'm going by like what helps me in my everyday life. And again, where I'm from, we don't see them all the time. So, um, so okay, the handles were really too short for what I wanted. And so by all justification, other tote bags seemed to be a, a better fit, but I kept going to the Neverfull. There's something about it. So it, it's now a permanent <laughs> in my collection but then I also decided I have one MM and one GM, and I don't want any more than that. And I'll get something like that in my mind. Like, I'll say, okay, I want, I love the Dame Bean, but sometimes I get overwhelmed if I just see Dame Bean everywhere in my closet. So I think, okay, I'm gonna have three items that are Dame Bean. So which ones are they gonna be? And I don't know why I come up with certain numbers like that, I just do, and it seems to help me. Um, 
and I'll just see that and I just feel good like I want three bags and only three dummy bean and we say only that's still a lot I get that but this is somebody who like would really have a lot <laughs> so I think about which ones bring me the most pleasure the joy and like a, like for instance also um, the dummy the never full mm and the dummy bean would be the perfect bag because it's all weather too but it doesn't bring that oomph for me as just that in the monogram print but at the same time that's pretty much the only bag I want a monogram I love accessories in the monogram and so I use those and then not so much in the bag in general so that um, I also picture myself going to let's say my mother-in-law's house and what would I be comfortable in carrying or to some place that they wouldn't like this what would be something I feel comfortable with anyway and then if somebody like right now on YouTube there's some video, video going around like you know they're roasting bags that they don't like and so um, at first I was hugely uncomfortable with this I was just like ha ah, that is just asking for punishment but it kind of is helpful and it's true <laughs> There's probably not a video that I've seen that there's in a bag that I really like that they don't like, but I have found it kind of funny and, and I have found it, you know, it's just the way that is. It's just a setup. It doesn't bother me at all, I promise. But my point is, if somebody who you like to see on YouTube or whatever, and they say they don't like something, but you love it anyway, that's a really good sign. And I can say that um, a bag that you don't see circulated a lot on YouTube is that Burberry rucksack there was something about it when I first saw it I was very drawn to it I love it I went on this so almost week-long vacation and we did crazy uh, varied things from fishing hiking um, shopping so the more typical I don't know older person type <laughs> I don't know uh, eating restaurants all over. We just did a ton of different things and that one bag did it for everything. I loved it. And I would change out the components sometimes but it was just like the bag and I never got tired of it. And for me not to get tired of a bag is a lot. I usually have to transition a lot. I kind of probably am rambling and I'm sorry but God, I haven't made a video in a while and I truly have missed you. So we'll, we'll, cut it, we'll uh, call it that also as to why I'm rambling. But um, Prof 24X, thank you for the request, and I'm sorry I had to wait so long. And, and this person wasn't the only one. I just um, am really slow on responding, but I promise I do read your comments, and I promise I do care what you have to say, and I try to get more regular on video making, and I don't know. I'm just not good at that. Um, I did get some requests and suggestions to do another video of selling things, and um, I may do another video and I hope that's not offensive. Um, I'm finding it helpful and I'm just really enjoying getting to talk to everybody um, and finding good homes for things. So um, maybe making that soon and I finally have my collection. I think the way I really like it, I don't know, for now I'm really happy with it and it's actually kind of unusual in my opinion. So I'd like to share that with you because I've had several people ask about that. I actually need to learn how to insert pictures. I finally got a picture of the uh, collection and a picture of it stored in the closet. And wanted to share that with you but I need to get more hip on this I'm just not there anyway um, thanks guys love you guys bye